In the beginning, there was darkness, and then, bang, giving birth to an endless expanding existence of time, space, and matter. Now see further than we've ever imagined, beyond the limits of our existence, in a place we call the universe. Asteroids and comets, Earth's celestial relatives, they hold secrets to our planet's formation. Perhaps the origins of life. Asteroids and comets may actually be responsible for the delivery of a lot of the building blocks of life. But these rocky bodies are planet builders and killers. The question is not whether we'll be struck in the future, but when and where. Asteroids and comets remain cosmic enemy number one. At the same time, they could provide vital resources that could one day save humans from ultimate extinction. It's summertime in California. People go about their business unaware of what's happening in the skies above. Without any warning, a colossal fireball rockets down from space like a speeding bullet. Upon impact, apocalyptic destruction will ensue. This is not a real life event, but it could be. At the University of Arizona, planetary scientist Jay Malash and his colleagues have developed an interactive website for estimating the consequences of asteroid and comet impacts on Earth. Web users can actually create their own doomsday scenarios. Every time impacts were in the news, I'd get call from reporters, and they would want to know what would happen if a certain size impact occurred. I realized that uh, this could all be put in a website so anyone could answer these questions themselves. Web users can recreate actual chilling impact events. Even the massive one in the Gulf of Mexico that triggered the mass extinction of the dinosaur over 65 million years ago. Let's suppose that the dinosaur killing impact occurred uh, not in Yucatan, but in Los Angeles. And we're living in San Francisco and we want to find out what happens. In order to simulate the impact event in Los Angeles, Malash enters the following data. Projectile diameter, impact velocity and angle, target type, such as water or rocky surface, and distance from the impact. The computer program will now tell us what we feel here in San Francisco. Calculate effects. As far away as San Francisco, we can see this huge fireball that develops over the impact site. The energy is bigger than all the world's arsenals of nuclear weapons combined. As a result of this impact, Los Angeles is completely obliterated. Next, rock debris blasted out by the impact travels ballistically above the atmosphere and then re-enters over our location. San Francisco will get fried and then buried by 24 inches of debris. Highway trusses will collapse. Multi-story buildings will collapse. San Francisco will not be a good place to be for an impact this big. 
This interactive website may seem like a video game of Armageddon, but it's actually serious science and serves as a warning about how dangerous asteroid and comet impacts could be. This isn't a cartoon or play simulation. The impact effects are all compiled from things like nuclear weapons manuals, by experience from earthquakes, and so we've done the best job we possibly could with all of the best modern technology to get an accurate description of what happens. Throughout Earth's history, asteroids and comets have been messengers of death. At the same time, they may also have been deliverers of life. Approximately 4.5 billion years ago, our solar system looked like a cosmic shooting gallery as celestial rocks collided and coalesced to form planets. After our solar system was formed, space rocks that didn't mold into planets or moons became wayward debris. Within our inner solar system, millions of these leftover rocks became part of the asteroid belt that orbits around the sun between Jupiter and Mars. We think that the powerful gravity of Jupiter was strong enough to prevent these planetesimals from sticking together to form even larger objects that we would consider a real planet. So the asteroid belt, you might think of it as a, a collection of failed planets. Asteroids are typically irregular shaped and pitted with impact craters. They range in size from tiny dust grains to hundreds of miles in diameter. Because they were formed at the same time as Earth, asteroids contain the same basic elements we find on our planet to build things. Research scientist Amy Meinzer has located cosmic material in a helicopter factory. The components of this helicopter here are actually shockingly similar to the elemental constituents we find in all different types of asteroids. The steel struts and the steel engine block, which is mostly made of iron, and say the uh, fiberglass panels, mostly silicon and oxygen, and the aluminum sheeting. Also, some asteroids are similarly differentiated, where you have a metallic iron nickel core surrounded by a layer of silicates and various combinations of other materials in the shell. When the final assembly of this helicopter is complete, just like the asteroids, it moves. Just as helicopters transport people all around our planet, asteroids and comets transport material throughout our solar system. Asteroids are cosmic fingerprints that reveal missing clues about Earth's past. Fragments of asteroids that actually survive an impact with the Earth's surface are called meteorites. Most have been recovered in dry deserts or polar regions where these dark rocks are easier to detect. At NASA's Johnson Space Center, scientist Michael Zelensky has collected